In this lesson, you will learn how you can create a UFT developer testing project as a pipeline in ELM Octane. In order to achieve this, we will use a UFT developer project based on Maven Surefire, which creates a JUnit result files. Let's quickly take a look on the UFT developer testing project. So this is basically my UFT developer testing project. It's built as a Maven. So I can see here, I have a test runner, which I've defined where all my test cases are tagged with um, at test. And um, I have also the POM file, which defines all the dependency I'm using. So this is completely documented in the online help of UFT developer. However, I just want to demonstrate that these test cases are running. So let me quickly execute here the uh, Maven build. So I will just click on run and now Maven will uh, perform the goal and invoke the, invoke the goal test and execute all the test cases. So let's minimize here. Now it will open the AOS application, will log in, uh, it will register a user and so on. So it has started now. One browser is opened. Go into the demo application, logging in and closing. So now it will register the user, first of all. The second will just quickly log in. Now the third one. So you basically see the testing uh, project uh, is executable. I have uh, prepared it as far as this far, so I'm able to use the Maven um, goals and invoke it from my IDE as well as from the command line. So this is uh, one of the precondition in order to register your testing project uh, of UFT developer in ALM Octane. So now as all test cases are executable, we will now focus on the registration of the pipeline. So I can see here the test cases are completed. So four test cases executed, build success. So this is fine. So now let's go first of all into Jenkins. And here you can see I have already created a few pipelines for different uh, framework, testing frameworks like Cucumber. I have uh, one with Maven Surefire where I am using Selenium as a testing tool, UFT is being used, and now I will create a UFT developer pipeline, which is quite similar to the one which I created for Selenium as the framework for Maven Surefire. The framework itself is one-to-one, uh, -one, and the only thing is the resources are different, the dependencies are different, but um, the entry point for Octane um, is exactly the same. So let's create a new pipeline, a new job in Jenkins, and we will call it um, UFT Developer Testing Project. It's a freestyle project, and I put it into my current view, which is fine. So now I need to scroll down, and the first thing what I need to do is I need to invoke maven top level goals or targets the target i need to invoke here is test and i need to provide a pom file so let's enter it here and i guess i need to provide as well the um, if there are test failures it should be ignored so there is a flag for maven if i'm not mistaken it's like this so if there are test failures it should not stop the maven build it should still continue uh, by ignoring and documenting the failure so i will have it uh, documented in my pipeline um, so this is the setting so as a next step what i need to do is i need to after the test cases are executed i need to move basically um, the junit file which is generated so I need to execute a Windows batch command here. 
So let's paste it here. So basically this is the JUnit XML, what I'm looking for. And I will use it on my slave where the workspace is for this specific uh, job. And now let me quickly show you something. So in my testing project, you can see I have here something which is different than the integration with Surefire, uh, Maven, and uh, Selenium. Here I have run results of uh, Lean FT, and I want to integrate this as well. So I need to make sure that these files, which are created during runtime, are moved to the right location. Yeah? So I need to move all of those files in the build uh, with the correct number. So let's go into Jenkins again. This means I would need to add another Windows command. Um, and here I will just paste the run result file, um, which is needed. You can also move all the other files if you want. But basically, this is the minimum which you have to move. And once this is moved, uh, you need to move it to the correct workspace in order for Jenkins to identify the file and uh, later on also archive it so that's basically it from the build step perspective and now let's go to the um, post build steps so first of all we need to archive the files we have and the first file i will archive is the html file so exactly the run result file of uh, uft developer and I will publish the JUnit results. Yeah, so the JUnit results, which are also moved. So here you can see here I'm using uh, moving the JUnit results. So this will be archived as well as um, the run the results HTML. So once this is completed, you can basically save it here. And now let's register this pipeline in Octane. In Octane, in the pipelines module, we need to now add the pipeline we have just created in Jenkins. So let's click on Add. Make sure that your uh, Jenkins server is registered and it will populate now the list of the jobs which are available. So this is UFT developer testing project, which we have, what we have just registered and created in Jenkins. And here I can tag it as a test type save it so this is basically the first step and now as we have we are moving the files around so basically what we will receive at the end is uh, this kind of um, uh, report tracking for uh, the test cases so if i'm here on the cucumber or let's say here on the selenium uh, build it will show me all the test cases which were failed and I have here also the possibility to uh, see the details or even to look at this in Jenkins directly. Uh, this is what I will also get for UFT developer, but I would like to get also the UFT developer uh, specific results. And therefore, before I start here, I need to go to the and to the properties of the registered pipeline go to topology here we can take the pipeline as test as it is a testing pipeline so here on the configuration go to custom build report and in here i need to reference now to the run result html file which i have moved and copied in as part of my uh, jenkins job let me quickly show you what i mean so in the configuration, we have just done the copy of this run result file. And this is exactly the file we will archive here. Yeah? And we need to reference this in Octane in order to uh, allow Octane to directly provide a link to a testing tool specific result file. This is done under custom build report. So you, you can basically enter here all different kind of parameterized uh, URL, which are referring to your custom build uh, frameworks and so on. But here I would like to use the lean FT or UFT developer standard uh, result file uh, 
uh, which should be accessed. So let's save it. And now let's go back and run the pipeline. And this, the pipeline has started. So it will execute now all the test cases which are part of my UFT developer projects. So let's go into my environment and see the execution. So now the browser is starting up. Chrome is started and it will launch the application under test and execute step as uh, a test by uh, test all the different test cases which are part of my uh, Maven uh, project. The first test is executed. Now the second test will be triggered. So the next test has started. We'll navigate to the AOS application and perform the steps as defined. So this is the third one. So all tests seem to be executed. So let's go back and see what is the result in Octane. I can see already here that the pipeline reported unstable which is okay because um, we had four test cases, one failed, so it, only three were executed. So let's uh, take a look here. On the test cases, I can see here now uh, only the failed one. I can release the filter to see all other test cases. But now what I have here when I click on it, I can see here the stack trace basically of the failure. But I can also see here um, the custom build report, what I've uh, entered with the parameterized URL. So let's open it. And this will navigate me directly to the um, UFT developer um, test result, yeah, which shows me all the different tests which were part of it and to the point where I see the failure. So here, for some reason, the browser could not be started. So it uh, went into the timeout. Uh, all other test cases were fine. So I can see here the whole summary of my test. And um, I'm, I was focused on this one, which was failed. So basically, this is an easy way to integrate your UFT developer testing projects into LM Octane using the pipelines module.